Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. My name is Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. These online video sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key competencies for your IELTS exam. In today's case, listening. We're continuing our series on the Cambridge Nine listening exams. Today we're looking at Test 2, Section 3. Please click on the link below to access the test. Now listen to the questions from 21 to 30 and see how well you can complete them. Remember to listen carefully because in the test you only get one opportunity to listen. Section 3 You will hear the Director of Studies in an English Language Centre and a student representative talking about their self-access centre. First, you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. Hi, Yun. As you know, I've asked you here today to discuss the future of our self-access centre. We have to decide what we want to do about this very important resource for our English language students. So, can you tell me what the students think about this? Well, from the students' point of view, we would like to keep it. The majority of students say that they enjoy using it because it provides a variation on the classroom routine and they see it as a pretty major component of their course. But we would like to see some improvements to the equipment, particularly the computers. There aren't enough for one each at the moment and we always have to share. Well, yes, the teachers agree that it is a very valuable resource but one thing we have noticed is that a lot of the students are using it to check their personal emails. We don't want to stop you students using it, but we think the computers should be used as a learning resource, not for emails. Mm. Some of us also think that we could benefit a lot more by relocating the self-access centre to the main university library building. How do you think the students would feel about that, Yun? Well, the library is big enough to incorporate the self-access centre, but it wouldn't be like a class activity anymore. Our main worry would be not being able to go to a teacher for advice. I'm sure there would be plenty of things to do, but we really need teachers to help us choose the best activities. Well, there would still be a teacher present and he or she would guide the activities of the students. We wouldn't just leave them to get on with it. Yes, but I think the students would be much happier keeping the existing set up. They really like going to the self-access centre with their teacher and staying together as a group to do activities. If we could just improve the resources and facilities, I think it would be fine. Is the cost going to be a problem? It's not so much the expense that I'm worried about, and we've certainly got room to do it, but it's the problem of timetabling a teacher to be in there outside class hours. If we're going to spend a lot of money on equipment and resources, we really need to make sure that everything is looked after properly. Anyway, let's make some notes to see just what needs doing to improve the centre. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 25 to 30. Now, what about the computers? I think it might be a good idea to install some new models. They would take up a lot less room and so that would increase the workspace for textbooks and so on. That would be great. It is a bit cramped in there at times. What about other resources? Do you have a list of things that the students would like to see improved? Yes. One of the comments that students frequently make is that they find it difficult to find materials that are appropriate for their level especially reading resources, so I think we need to label them more clearly. Well, that's easy enough. We can get that organised very quickly. Mm. In fact, I think we should review all of the study resources as some of them are looking a bit out of date. <sighs> Definitely. The CD section especially needs to be more current. I think we should get some of the ones that go with our latest course books and also make multiple copies. Good. 
Now, I was also thinking about some different materials that we haven't got in there at all. What do you think of the idea of introducing some workbooks? If we break them up into separate pages and laminate them, they'd be a great resource. The students could study the main course book in class and then do follow up practice in the self access centre. That sounds good. OK. Now, finally, we need to think about how the room is used. I'll have to talk to the teachers and make sure we can all reach some agreement on a timetable to supervise the centre after class. But we also need to think about security too, especially if we're going to invest in some new equipment. Um, what about putting in an alarm? Good idea. The other thing I'd like to do is talk to our technicians and see whether we could somehow limit the access to email. I really don't want to see that resource misused. What about if we agree to only use it before and after class? Yes, that would be fine. OK, anyway, that's great for now. We'll discuss it further when we've managed to sort That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section four. All right, you should have some answers now. Let's check them to see which ones you got correct. Number 21. Students want to keep the self-access centre because... Here's what the speakers say. The majority of students say that they enjoy using it because it provides a variation on the classroom routine and they see it as a pretty major component of their course. But we would like to see some improvements to the equipment, particularly the computers. There aren't enough for one each at the moment, and we always have to share. And here are the key words that would help you get the right answer. Important and major, part and component. The speaker mentions that at the centre they don't have enough computers, so students can't enjoy the variety of equipment. So option A is obviously incorrect. Even though the speaker says that they like the centre because it offers a variation to the classroom routine, they don't mention that they want to work on their own. So B is not the answer. You can hear that they see it as a pretty major component of their course, by which it can be understood that they view it as a pivotal part of their course. So the answer would be C. Number 22. Some teachers would prefer to... something. Here's what the speakers say. Well, yes, the teachers agree that it is a very valuable resource. But one thing we have noticed is that a lot of the students are using it to check their personal emails. We don't want to stop you students using it, but we think the computers should be used as a learning resource, not for emails. Mm. Some of us also think that we could benefit a lot more by relocating the self-access centre to the main university library building. Well, in the recording, the teachers don't want to prevent students from using the centre, so closing the centre is illogical. A is not correct. Regarding the access to the centre's computers, it's inappropriate to check personal emails, but teachers still don't want to set any restrictions for the students. They say, we don't want to stop you, the students, using it. Ergo, I wouldn't choose C here. They do suggest relocating the centre, which means that the centre will be moved to another place. Move and relocate are the same. So I would probably choose B as my answer here. For number 23, the student's main concern about using the library would be... Here's what the speakers say. Well, the library is big enough to incorporate the self-access centre, but it wouldn't be like a class activity anymore. Our main worry would be not being able to go to a teacher for advice. I'm sure there would be plenty of things to do, but we really need teachers to help us choose the best activities. And some key words to help us are concern and worry and help and advice, acting as synonyms here. The speaker lets us know that the library is big enough, hence the size of it must not be a concern for students. A is not true. Relating to the materials, it's indicated that there'll be plenty of things to do, a direct contrast to option C, so that can't be correct either. What most students are concerned with is the teacher who's not available to ask them for advice, and advice and help are the same meaning. There's no teacher to ask for advice, which creates a difficulty. So B would be the answer. 24. The Director of Studies is concerned about... Well, here's what the speakers say. It's not so much the expense that I'm worried about, and we've certainly got room to do it, 
but it's the problem of timetabling a teacher to be in there outside class hours. If we're going to spend a lot of money on equipment and resources, we really need to make sure that everything is looked after properly. Useful synonyms here. Cost and expense. Concerned and worried. Space and room. Supervise and look after. The teachers don't mind the expense of spending money on facilities and resources, so A is incorrect. And B can't be correct either, because there are enough rooms for students. So the shortage of rooms mentioned in B is not feasible. The main concern is the time frame in which teachers can attend the centre to supervise after class hours. So I would pick C. Number 25. The level of the up uh materials in particular should be more clearly shown. Well, here's the relevant part from the conversation. What about other resources? Do you have a list of things that the students would like to see improved? Yes. One of the comments that students frequently make is that they find it difficult to find materials that are appropriate for their level, especially reading resources. So I think we need to label them more clearly. And here are some key words that should help you find the correct answer, which is reading. In particular, and especially, show and label. The students complain that they face a problem of finding materials. The resources they emphasise are reading materials. So the word I would put in this gap is reading. Number 26, update the uh collection. Here's what the speakers say. The CD section especially needs to be more current. I think we should get some of the ones that go with our latest course books and also make multiple copies. The speaker suggests that the CD section should be more current, which can be referred to as update. So the answer is CD or the CD. 27. Buy some uh and divide them up. Here's what the speakers say. What do you think of the idea of introducing some workbooks? If we break them up into separate pages and laminate them, they'd be a great resource. Did you hear the phrase, break them up into? Well, this has the same meaning as divide. The speaker wants to break workbooks into separate pages used as reference resources for students. So the word we need here is workbooks. Number 28, speak to the teachers and organise a uh for supervising the centre. Here's what the speakers say. I'll have to talk to the teachers and make sure we can all reach some agreement on a timetable to supervise the centre after class. It's said that she will talk to the teachers and make sure that we can all make some agreement or organise our timetables to supervise the centre. So the missing word here is timetable. You could say schedule too. 29, install and here's what the speakers say. What about putting in an alarm? Good idea. The word putting in the recording is paraphrased as install in the prompt. The speaker suggests putting an alarm in the centre. So the answer is alarm. Number 30, restrict personal use of mm on computers. Here's what the speaker says. The other thing I'd like to do is talk to our technicians and see whether we could somehow limit the access to email. I really don't want to see that resource misused. We can spot the synonym for restrict in the recording as limit. So we've got to hear the information around that word. The speaker says that she wants to stop students using emails to avoid resources being misused. So our answer here is email or emails. And that is the end of the explanation for section three of test two. How many correct answers did you get? If you've got any questions, please share them in the comment box below and I'll answer all of you. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. Our courses are designed to help you by providing personalised learning pathways and giving you individual outcomes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest video uploads. I've been Thomas at Lango Learning Systems and hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Bye.